Welcome friends. It's another gray, cold day here in Central Virginia, but I am so thankful that you decided to come by because today we are going to make the orchid shawl. The orchid shawl is the first in a series of shawl patterns that I'm making to celebrate the blossoms of spring. I love spring. It is my favorite time of year and I cannot wait to show you all the inspiration I've had and all the new patterns that I'm making. But first, let's have a cup of tea and talk a little bit about the techniques we'll be using in the shawl and some of the materials that you'll need. This shawl pattern, the orchid shawl pattern, is unique in that you could use any yarn you want to create an absolutely beautiful spring accessory. I know, I know, it's winter for most of us, but here in Central Virginia, it's kind of starting to feel like spring. But I also know that it's probably going to snow in the next two weeks because that's how the weather likes to be here. Anyways, back to the yarn. You could use any size yarn you want. If you want to use fingering weight yarn, go right ahead. Want to use worsted weight yarn? You can do that too. This shawl is a simple two row repeat. So you can use any size yarn that you want and get an absolutely gorgeous pattern, which also means you don't have to make a gauge swatch. You just keep repeating the two rows until you get the size you want. I'll show you how to make it. Let's get started. For the full written pattern of the orchid shawl, you can check out my blog. It's linked down in the description below. I've also linked the materials I used to make this one. You can also find more information about the pattern and an option to purchase a printable PDF in the blog post. I hope you'll go check it out. We're gonna begin by chaining six and then using a slip stitch to join the first chain and the last chain together to form a ring. Once you've formed your ring, chain two and we're going to double crochet 17 stitches into the ring that we just made. Please remember your first two chains do not count in this row. Let's speed that up because nobody wants to watch me double crochet 17 times. All right, so we've got our 17 double crochet. We're going to chain one and turn our work and start working in rows. Single crochet in your first stitch, chain four. We're going to skip one stitch and start working a cluster across the next five. Skip one, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and pull through two. Skip one stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all the loops on your hook. That's how we're going to be working clusters. Now we'll chain four, skip one stitch, and single crochet in the next double crochet. Okay, come on, here we go. All right, now chain four, skip one, and we're gonna work another cluster. So skip one, then yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, pull through two, skip one stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop in the next stitch, pull through two, and repeat that one more time. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook, chain four and single crochet in the last stitch. Oops, I'm getting it tangled up here. Okay. 
chain six. This counts as a double crochet and a chain three at the beginning of our row. Now we're going to double crochet in the first single crochet. Chain three. We're gonna skip straight to that cluster stitch. We're not working in the chain four spaces below. We're gonna work straight into the cluster stitch. Single crochet into the cluster stitch. Chain three. Now in that single crochet, we are going to work a double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet in that same single crochet. Chain four, or I'm sorry, chain three, and then single crochet into the cluster, chain three, and in the last single crochet, we will double crochet, chain three, double crochet. chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, chain four. Now we're going to work a cluster around this one double crochet. So we'll yarn over, insert the loop into the chain three space, pull up a loop and pull through two. Repeat that, just like we did with the first set of clusters. But we're going to skip the double crochet and work the next two portions of our cluster into the next chain three space. Once that's done, we'll pull through all the loops and we have our cluster and it is made around that double crochet. Chain four, single crochet in the single crochet. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna chain four again. are going to cluster stitch around this double crochet. So work the first two parts of your cluster in the chain three space, skip the double crochet, do the next two portions of the double crochet or the cluster into the next chain three space. This is the center chain three space so let's do that one a little bit differently. So we've finished our cluster, we're going to chain two, single crochet again in that center chain three space, chain two, and cluster around the next double crochet starting in the same chain three space we're already in. So that center chain three space will have those two clusters and a single crochet in it. chain four, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain four, cluster around that last double crochet, I am using in this video the Furls Whims Merino and my Furls Cookies and Cream hook. And this yarn almost never splits for me, but I've actually used the same ball of yarn to make quite a few swatches, so the twist has come a little bit loose. But in general, I love their Z-Twist yarn and I use it all the time. After that cluster, chain four, single crochet, All right, we're on row five, so we'll start with a chain six, which counts as a double crochet and a chain three space. And then we will double crochet into that first single crochet.
chain three, single crochet into the cluster, chain three, double crochet in the single crochet. And you're just gonna keep repeating that till you reach your, your center stitch. So chain three, single crochet in the cluster, chain three, double crochet in the single crochet until we reach the center single crochet. All right, we've reached the center single crochet. We're going to double crochet, chain three, and double crochet in that same center single crochet. It's looking good, let's keep going. Chain three, single crochet in the next cluster. And just like we did on the other side, we are going to chain three, double crochet in the single crochets, and chain three, single crochet in the cluster stitches. Once we reach that last single crochet, we will do a double crochet, chain three, double crochet in the last stitch. All right, for row six, you're gonna start with a chain one and you're gonna single crochet in your first stitch. Then chain four and work a cluster stitch around the next double crochet. And we are going to just repeat row five and six, which are essentially the same as row three and four, over and over and over again until you get a shawl the size you need. So, you will cluster around those double crochet stitches, chain four, and single crochet in the single crochets for row six. So work your cluster around the double crochet, chain two, and work a single crochet into the same chain space we're in, which is our center chain space. Chain two, work another cluster starting in the same chain space we're already in. Skip the double crochet and finish your cluster on the other side. And you'll just keep repeating row five and row six, which are basically the same as row three and row four, until your shawl is as big as you want. Now we get the fun part, just the relaxing action of repeating the same two rows until you've created a masterpiece that is unique to your own craftsmanship. I can't wait to see the shawl that you made. If you finish it and take pictures, I would love for you to share it with me on Instagram. You can find me there at rebecca.haas.crochet and just tag me in any photos you make and I'd be happy to share them in my stories so other people can be encouraged to try this project as well.
you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be here when I post the next one.